We're here to give you our top 10 list. Favorite ghost movies. My favorite subject. Number 10. Here. Number 10, we got Poltergeist. From the creepy ass clown hiding underneath the bed, <sighs> pure nightmare fuel, to the little girl saying they're here, to the fact that they used real damn bodies, real skeletons at the end of that movie, and then of course the famous Poltergeist curse with tragic results. Yeah. Poltergeist comes in at number 10. Creepy ass house. Number nine. I'm the ghost of the most, babes. Beetlejuice. Michael Keaton in an iconic role really, I think, boosted his career out oh, yeah. of just being a Mr. Mom Especially and Gung Ho guy. that role was a bit part and he ended up running away with the movie. Tim Burton made us laugh at death and kind of showed us what a pain in the ass it could be being a ghost. Number eight, we have The Others starring Nicole Kidman. That's where children go who tell lies, but they don't just go there for a few days. Oh no. No, they're damned. Forever. This is about a mother and her two children. She's waiting for her soldier husband to come home from the war. And it's a different kind of ghost movie because you're not quite sure what's going on. You have these old people that are kind of creepy and throughout the movie you're thinking, oh, those are the ghosts. I'm not a ghost. Yes, but in the end, I'm not even gonna spoil it because it is a mind blowing I'm not a dread. ghost. Exactly, it is, it's out there. Number seven, we came, we saw, we kicked its ass, Ghostbusters. Oh yes, from symmetrical book stapping to stacking to Slimer, to those stay, hounds from hell. Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Stay Puff Marshmallow Man to Zool. It was funny, it had great special effects. Yes, and so looking forward to the remake, now that I know the original cast, may Harold Ramis rest in peace, will be making cameos in this movie. Number six, 1408. It's based on the Stephen King short story from his collection, Everything's Eventual, 1408 stars Samuel Jackson and John Cusack. Go on, evil ass room. Yes, it is definitely an evil room. And it, this movie is, it's just, it's so good because it's almost a character study. It's more of a personal ghost story. And after repeated viewings, I've come to the belief that Samuel Jackson is some sort of supernatural entity. But basically it's a ghost hunter that goes to different places and checks out to see if they're really haunted. He likes to debunk it. He shows up at this hotel room, thinks it's full of crap. And hey, it's only just begun, baby. All hell breaks loose. Great, Great adaptation. Number five. Here's Johnny! The Shining. Jack Nicholson, another one of his iconic roles. He seems to make a lot of our lists. Um, basically, the hotel that he's in charge of running uh, drives him crazy, and he tries to kill his whole family. Yes. Based on the book by Stephen King, which was more about alcoholism than ghosts, which is why King didn't like this adaptation, this is still a classic ghost movie from legend Stanley Kubrick. One of my favorites, got a creepy tone all the way throughout. And creepy little kid. That's what happens when you don't beat your kid's ass. Hug him? No. Number four, The Grudge. What are you doing here? Uh, starring Sarah Michelle Geller, this is a, uh, it's a good take on Japanese horror. It's a very good remake of a Japanese horror movie that went by the name Juwon. Uh, it's scary, she's creepy, and you can't even hide under your covers to get away from her, and that's just wrong. Every monster knows if you're under the covers, you're safe. A woman was having an affair, and her husband found out, killed her and her son, and she's stuck in this house tormenting people. It is definitely worth watching. Yeah. In the dark. Number three, one of my absolute favorites. I see dead people. The Sixth Sense. I see dead people. And you 
dreams? While you're awake? We don't see each other. They only see what they want to see. They don't know they're dead. How often do you see them? M. Night Shyamalan's breakout film. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Um, Little boy sees dead people yeah. and he ends up getting a shrink to help him deal with his issues. Excellent film, acted, directed wonderfully and genuinely creepy but also heartfelt. Definitely yes. worth a check out. Number two, we've got The Ring. How did you make these pictures? I don't make them. I see them, and then they just are. You just watch this tape, you now have seven days. Yep, yeah, seven days. You get a phone call telling you seven days. It's about a creepy ass little girl named and Samara. She, she's gonna come and get you. Yeah, and that's just wrong. I mean, you shouldn't, shouldn't do that. You know, it, it's, it's messed up. Uh, wonderfully done movie. Genuinely, uh, actually a lot like The Shining, what I like about this movie is it is it gives you an uncomfortable feeling throughout. There's not a lot of quote unquote scares. You just feel really uncomfortable while you're watching it for some reason. The girl's creepy. Uh, she has some psychic supernatural ability. And wants to hurt people. And wants to hurt people and her mom has to deal with her and then the girl like haunts everybody. Number one, this movie keeps popping up in my list because it's to me, my absolute favorite horror movie. One of the best in years. Uh, yeah, and that would be The Conjuring. She won't let her leave the house. What will you mean? If we take her out, the witch will kill her. Which is freaking creepy. The family moves into a house where uh, the woman, had, the woman that had owned that house and the property many years before, was a witch, killed a kid, offered it up to the devil, and anybody that moves in that house, the mom kind of goes nuts. Yeah, it's based on the real-life case notes of the Warrens, paranormal investigators who investigated the Amityville Horror, are behind the uh, investigation of the Annabelle doll, which also makes an appearance in The Conjuring, and of course. This family. And then Annabelle had its own movie. Yes, yes. With that was actually pretty scenes. good for a spinoff. And we're looking forward to the Warrens' next spinoff. You check it out. These movies will definitely put you in the Halloween spirit. Move. I thought spirit. my jokes were bad. Shut up, Joker. <laughs> this is the other side. And we're out. Oh!